Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art, Art Gallery. Today I have a 12 by 12 inch gallery wrapped canvas and I have my base coat down of Rust-Oleum White Pearl. And by, I'm showing you the sides there, they are an inch and a half deep. That's what gallery wrap means. Here I am showing you that base coat, the Rust-Oleum Metallic White Pearl. And today I'm using all Montmartre paints, and let's go over them. My first one is the Montmartre Lemon Yellow. The next paint is Montmartre Crimson. The next one is Deep Cyan Blue. My next paint is just the Montmartre Purple. And the last paint is the Montmartre Lamp Black. My pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol, one part paint, Squirt of GAC 800, and I did use a dab of the Amsterdam pouring medium, which I am showing you there. I've had this for a while and thought I might as well use some of it. All my paints had that pouring medium added to them. Here I'm showing you the five chamber cup I'm going to be filling. Okay, I have filled my cup. And now I'm going to attempt a ring pour. So I'm calling this at this point a split cup ring pour. And my paints pretty much all did show up here, although I'm already concerned that I have such a big amount of black at, at the bottom of the canvas here. You're seeing it at the bottom. And I am speeding up this part of the um, video for you. I'm just finishing off that little uh, end of the ring there. Here I decide maybe if I wreck this ring, I'll be able to pull some of the, the other colors of paint through that black just to give it a little more interest and a quick torch here. Now I'm going to start the tipping process and I do tip quite a bit of that black off. I'm pretty happy with the colors I see here. And as I'm going along, I'm making sure that my uh, sides and my corners are covered. I had enough paint for this canvas. but I didn't have a, a whole big abundance of paint. You can see it is running a little bit slow. And I did for, forget to talk about um, the thickness of my paint, consistency of my paint. It was about a mound on a mound. I did leave it a little bit on the thicker side. I wanted to, to keep the integrity of the rings. And as you can see with wrecking it, it doesn't have the characteristics of a regular ring pour. Here I decide I'm going to try and wreck it a little more. Pull some of the other colors of paint through that black. And I'm going to tip off some more of that black here. I'm still feeling there's just a little mu too much black on this painting. I do like the brightness of the yellow and of that crimson. And you can see here how slow that paint really is moving.
Again, just a little bit more wrecking with that skewer. And just a little more tipping here. Just cleaning off the bottoms with my hands there. And as I take a look at this painting, I just think that it needs something else, something to brighten it up. I'm just giving it another quick torch here. And I have used all my colored paints up, so I'm thinking, what can I do to improve this painting, to brighten it up? And you're going to see here in just a couple couple of seconds what I decided to do. What I did is I took my base coat paint, that Rust-Oleum White Pearl, and I put it in a little, it's like a little needle, and I'm injecting it underneath the other paint, or at least I'm trying to there. In some parts I was successful. And what's kind of neat is I am bringing up that is bringing up some cells. That white pearl paint has some cells in it. Now just doing a little wrecking with that. Now I'm trying to incorporate all that um, white pearl paint in with the others. At least I am getting the paint to run a little bit faster now. My base coat paint was a little bit thinner, I think, than my colored paints. This is quite a bit uh, different type of pour for me to do. I haven't been doing these lately. It is fun. Just playing with the paints here, playing with that composition, getting it to look at more like what I want it to look like here. It definitely made it brighter. Here I'm taking some of the black paint that's just laying on that pad and just um, streaking it through the white just to break it up a little bit, give it a little more interest. Just seeing if I can tip any more paint here. And now what I'm doing is I'm tipping my, um, my chamber cup there just to see what was left in the bottom. And I'm adding that color back onto my painting. I just felt like it needed a little more color. And luckily there, there was some paint left down there in the bottom. So that's what I'm doing here. Just adding in a little more color. Just a little something else for the eye to look at. I'm just taking the skewer, just playing with those lines a little bit.
Now I'm just tipping to kind of incorporate the new paint that I just put on. Just playing around a little bit more with that skewer. And a quick torch here. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up, and I'm showing you the whole painting here. Off screen, you'll see that I did draw a few more lines. I actually got out my cups of color and just here and there added a little bit more color. But here's the upper left-hand corner. Just going to go down the left-hand side. And remember, this is a 12 by 12 inch gallery wrapped canvas. This is very different than anything I've done lately. It was a lot of fun. And this is the lower left-hand corner. And take you up pretty much the middle here. I'm so glad that I did add that base coat on the top. I just felt that painting was way too dark before this. And it sure did add a lot to it. I like this up here where there's some color in there. And I'll take you over to the upper right hand corner. And down the right side. Simple painting, mostly black and white with just those few colors in there. Just to accent it, give it a little more interest. Nice area in here. And here's the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it and consider um, subscribing to my channel. That would help it grow. And until next time, take care everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.